Yay, everyone. Yay, we are here for 21 days of happy anticipation. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, replay viewers. I am here. This is day zero. And if we haven't met before, my name is Macy Matarazzo, and I am the creator of Big Happy Love Coaching, helping smart single women get past the barriers that hold them back from love so that love can find them. And those processes that I use with my clients, these are processes that are on a lot of different levels, the emotional, the spiritual, the physical, the chemical, the comical. Like I should think of all of these different areas as the spaces of transformation that get women into a new reality where love can find them. I've had multiple women in the last month talk about how they've met people even in a pandemic through these tools. Um, two people, yeah, who arrived and came to me because they had some challenges in their past with relationships and hadn't dated for a long time. And actually three people just in the last couple of weeks that have met amazing people and are starting to develop these relationships. So that's what's really possible here. And these 21 days are going to give you a taste of the kind of practices and tools that you can add into your life and open up space for something different. And I love this. So today I'm giving you five steps. And these steps are things that we're going to be using regularly in our 21 days. And if you notice today is day zero, and there's a reason for that, we're going to talk about that too. And this will really support you in ways that if you're feeling right now, a little funk, you know, around the holidays, around not being able to travel or visit people or events being canceled. I mean, basically, so much is different right now. And I know that when you have these tools and practices that I'm going to share with you, it, it becomes like magic. It becomes like the magic formula to uplift your life and, um, and give you back your power. You know, we're all way more powerful than we give ourselves credit. And, and some of you may be watching this and you may not have actually signed up. I am sharing this in a couple groups. And so here's a little taster for you. If you'd like to join us for the whole 21 days, then you can reach out to me after. But um, I really know that um, you know, it can be easy to fall into a funk. The times change, the weather's changing, we're in a pandemic, there's a lot going on. And so if you're noticing that it's uncomfortable, you're not alone and there's nothing wrong with you and we can do this together. Um, so I love seeing, oh, hey, everyone. I'm so excited for, yay, awesome, so cool. We have some returning players. Um, so I call this 21 Days of Happy Anticipation because anticipation of something happy and positive in our world is actually a tool. And it's also a tool on the other side when you can anticipate, oh, wow, that is going to be hard for me or that typically is hard for me. Um, 
in a regular time even, even in whatever normal times, I've been aware of this time between sort of Thanksgiving and Christmas can be difficult for some people. There are a lot of things that can trigger, you know, uh, pain from maybe losing someone that you care about or being alone and not wanting to be. So these this time of year, you know, can often be anticipated as a challenging time. So when we notice that, we also notice what it creates in our body, noticing how that feeling of anticipating something that's difficult can change your body. So in, in the reverse, when we can anticipate something that we're looking forward to or that's exciting or new, then you, you can you'll experience that in your body. And so whatever that frequency is that we're holding, if we're holding something that feels heavy and sad, then that tends to keep that momentum going. When you're anticipating something exciting that you're looking forward to, that can become a magnet for more things like that. So these 21 days, you're going to get an opportunity to have a daily experience of reinforcing those things that you're looking forward to. And there is dog snoring in the background really loud. Okay. So you may have that extra bonus um, sound healing from, from bulldog snores. So let's talk about anticipation a little bit more because I really love the energy of anticipation. And when I'm working with, with coaching clients, I really encourage people to tune into what it is that they're aware of in their heart. So when you are saying, yeah, I would really love to have someone in my life. I would love to, you know, meet someone and share my life with someone. <laughs> yeah, dogs are champions of happy anticipation. That is really true. It is definitely one of my favorite tools is to cuddle up with my animals. Um, it changes everything for me. So um, so when you, um, what was I saying? So uh, yeah, so when we're aware of what it is that we would love to create. So that notice the the part of us that has desires has like a desire for something desire for having community with people over the holidays or desire to cuddle up with someone on a cold night desire to to have that person that you know has your back or desire to have that kind of playmate in your life. I'm using relationship because that's that's what my primary work is in the world, but it works with anything. Desire to have more meaningful work, desire to um to you know to bring a creation into the world. Maybe it's a painting or a performance or something else. I mean it can be anything. When you're aware of that desire, what I like to remind people of is the desire is the divine. It is creative conscience, consciousness in its message to you. So a desire is not something that comes from your head. It's not something you're making up. This is coming from spirit, divine, God, whatever you like to call it, the universe, it's actually an invitation. It's actually a, um, a like breadcrumb to your destiny. And oftentimes our mind can come in and 
beat us up about it and say, oh, you can't have that. That's not going to happen. That's not possible because our mind is just wired to keep us from change because change represents risk and danger. So um, it really is up to us to use our conscious awareness to go oh okay i see that and then yes there are the there are the voices that come up that want to say you can't have it or i can't have it or whatever it is but noticing even the energy of those voices if those the energy of those voices and those messages feels heavy or feels yeah feels heavy there's tends to be a heaviness to them then it is a lie that's how you know it's a lie that's how you know it's not actually you that's how you know it's something maybe you've collected from hearing it maybe from your childhood or from you know the world but it's not true so it takes a little bit of presence and um, choice to stand in a desire in a way that's powerful for you, in a way that you can be the advocate for that. So these 21 days, we're going to get a chance to continue to support ourselves in the things that actually feel exciting and light. So, so as I describe those voices that say, no, you can't do this, you can't have this. The, the other side of that space is where you feel like excited about something, where you feel that joy, that inspiration, that kind of giddiness, the magic. That's what we're playing with here is giving more focus to that space than to the heavy space and learning ways to um to move faster out of the heavy kind of funk space and move into the space where you get to consciously create something amazing in your life and when you have that sense of wow i can create things in my life i get to do that then we get to play with the energy of anticipation as a magnifier, as an accelerator to this. I mean, it really can put, put the pedal to the metal on how we create our life and it creates a ripple into the present moment. So as I was sharing these 21 days, I have to say, I had someone uh, send me this little meme and it was something about, you know, you can really, it's really about the present moment, something about the present moment. And the story I made up was that this person was assuming that this, this experience of playing in anticipation was actually um, denying us the present moment. That was actually like, putting us into this fantasy world or something like that. And I get how that can be misunderstood. So, so let's talk about what we get to do. And in the five steps I'm going to share with you, we get to actually see how this works in real time. So, you know, this isn't about avoiding the present moment. This isn't about saying, oh, until this is that, until I get this, then I can be happy until I can, it's not the until story. So cancel, cancel, cancel that, because that is something that um, becomes kind of a negative experience. If we're not able to find any joy in the moment, because we're always going, well, I can't be happy until I meet my person. I can't be happy until I lose 10 pounds. I can't be happy until I make more money. That's not the case here. So put your anywhere where you've decided that this is a wait until thing you can just destroy and uncreate that right now let it go um and we'll do some releasing too in our five steps but this is actually something that um 
becomes a shifter of the moment. So for example, even something super simple like this class, like I've been super excited about this class. That's why I created it. I was thinking, you know what? I don't want to spend most of November without doing some fun daily practice with some people because I've been doing these for most of the year. And, and I do have um, Love Camp coming up in December which is something I'm anticipating and really excited about. It's my favorite time of year and you'll all hear about it, but it's it's a five, free five day love camp that I do virtually that is super hilarious and fun. And um, it's, it's just something I, I look forward to. And when I look forward to it, I feel that excitement in my body. Right now, I feel the excitement. I feel the excitement now. So noticing that right now in this moment, experiencing and tuning into what I know Love Camp is with the amusement and the fun and the play and the transformation and the connection people have and all of the laughs we have at camp, that it changes this moment. So that is what's so amazing about having those things planted in our future that we know will happen and we know um, inspire us. So right now in this moment, just thinking about that, my body has changed its chemistry. It's gotten some endorphins and other th things probably, serotonin, I don't know, but you know the chemical thing is changing. There is a lightness to it because I already know that it's really fun for me and I've done it for the last four years so I know that it's going to be fun and I can count on that so and I am in in charge of that I show up I create it and I get to have it so noticing that so let's jump into the five steps because this is going to be helpful so right then I chose something that, you know, if I were waking up and kind of feeling heaviness, which which happens for me, I'll wake up sometimes and I'll just sort of feel heavy and like, mm, like sort of meh. Mm. And then it takes actually noticing that and going, okay, so what can I choose? What can I be aware of right now? Or what can I do right now that can shift my energy? And that can be choosing something or creating something that I already know really lightens the energy for me. I sometimes call these mojo boosters. So I'm inviting you right now to consider those things in your life that you already know light you up. These things that um, you can either plant in the future of your day, it could be in the next hour, it could be in tonight, it could be in a couple days from now, and you can have sort of all of the above. I'm going to give you something super simple right now you can play with, and that is you can look forward to day one of our 21 days. Woo! That's kind of why I did day zero, because we're on day zero. We get to look forward to the day one, which means we just got a bonus day. How exciting is that? So you want to first choose something that you know you have that you can look forward to. And you can choose something that you already know works for you. You know, there are little things that I know that I call the mojo boosters that are things that can be done in, you know, a minute to three minutes, something like that. Um, really kind of quickies that are really accessible in my world. And throughout this this 21 day program, we're gonna play with a lot of different things. But for right now, consider what's one thing you know works for you that would add some novelty and spice to your day. Um, there is something with novelty, like having something different, new, 
Um, maybe it's something you haven't done for a while or something that you've been wanting to check out. So, you know, really noticing that because the novelty works with your brain in a different way. It's actually working with different spaces because it's new and exciting. Um, it's outside of the status quo, just regular routine stuff that you can kind of do on autopilot and not even notice that you're doing it, right? So the first step is choosing something, choosing something. And, you know, if you're, you're laboring over, it, don't worry about it. Choose day one of happy anticipation tomorrow, day one. So choosing something is the first step. The second step is, yes, Renee says, I have a massage scheduled for tomorrow. Does that count? Absolutely. Massages are really fun. Maybe there's a walk. Maybe it's connecting with a friend. Maybe it's going to a different, um, maybe it's um, doing your own manicure at home and, and picking a new color. Maybe it's baking something that you haven't baked before, making yourself a special meal. Maybe it's, it, it can go on and on and on. And the other thing that I invite you guys in our special 21 day group, please share your things. Renee can share that she's got a massage scheduled. Someone else share what you're kind of, uh, anticipation thing is and or your mojo boosters we can call them mojo boosters so i'm probably going to give you a little homework assignment at the end around mojo boosters but um because when we see each other's we can go oh my god i want to do that one i want to do that one i want to do that one i'm going to take that one and then we get like you know we maximize our lists of most mojo boosters with some new ones which is super cool so please do share anyway so the second step Yay, walk with a friend. That's perfect. Um, the second step is releasing anything that keeps you from having the lightness of it. So I just like to do a full body shake. So you can do that now. So just like, you know, even doing gestures like you're sweeping away things. If you put your feet flat on the floor, you can let the earth takes some of this, like any sort of funk that's maybe likely not even yours. So anything that's not yours, anything that's getting in the way, we're demanding our body to release it right now. So letting go, releasing, letting go, releasing, letting go, releasing, shaking things you haven't even wiggled before. I'm going to wiggle my earlobes uh, and then, you know, really getting into it and letting this go as long as you want. This is step two, releasing anything that keeps you from it, demanding of your body to let go, let go of anything that wants to buy into the heaviness. So knowing that the heaviness is, is, always something unaligned, always something that is a lie, always something that is not true for you, that you can begin to facilitate yourself by shaking out your body. Oh, okay, so we just did step two. We first chose, we second released. The third thing is in your imagination, we want to turn up your amusement dial. So when we're in the space of amusement, which amusement is like the coolest energy ever. It's super high vibe. It's actually, you know, it's up there with love and joy. And when we can, you know, close our eyes and imagine right now that the control panel of you is in front of you, You'll see a whole bunch of dials or you'll sense a whole bunch of dials. If you're not a seer, it's okay. Just noticing in your awareness, sensing the dials and turn up the amusement dial all the way up, all the way up till you can't turn it up any further. It may even look like 
the little line is going past the the highest line you know how that happens with dials sometimes so turn that all the way up and then if you're like kind of maybe still like not sure just go ahead and turn the seriousness way down so turn the seriousness off turn the amusement up <sighs> awesome so you'll notice that just turning those dials supports your consciousness and being able to receive something different then once you've turned up the amusement turned down the seriousness now just bring your attention on that thing you chose whether it's a walk with a friend a massage tomorrow maybe you know it's day one of our anticipation camp then bring your your awareness to the anticipating of that like wow that is something that's super cool that is in my near future right now and as you experience it notice take a moment to notice how it feels in your body now that you've released stuff now that you've turned down seriousness and turned up amusement and you have this thing that you have chosen right now to look forward to and as you experience that in your body and notice it acknowledge it go oh wow my body feels different my body is in anticipation of this thing how does it get any better than this and really acknowledge that oh yes this is anticipation so as you experience that savor it and i'm going to invite you to do a specific practice which is push the enter key and i like to push the enter key by bringing my arms here like i'm just acknowledging all of the anticipation and then bowing that is my body's way of clicking that enter key <clears throat> so how and just noticing how fun it is to have just shifted your whole being in claiming the anticipation of something that you chose you created and then being in this what we focus on what we're vibrating is what attracts more of that so this is how we manifest and actualize things in our life is by having more fun playing in the space that is joyful and light and exciting and doing whatever it takes even you know for me some of my mojo boosters are a one song dance party play a favorite song dance to it we all have those kind of signature songs that we know we can't help but da dance to pretty much i can pick most you know fast paced disco songs and have a lot of fun with that um the second one for me is like being able to cuddle in with my animals the third one is like creating some project maybe it's a, a craft project or painting or doing something that i just know changes my mood so those are some examples so your home play for this class is to list out three to five mojo boosters and post them in the group so some of them they, they may be new ones i i also like hula hooping i like you know sitting in grass like I, some of these things are not that complicated but it's the kind of stuff that we forget when we're like feeling like we're in a total funk so part of anticipation is planning if you know that the weekends are hard or you know that the holidays are harder you know that 
um, there are particular times a day that you feel like less high vibe, lower vibration, then what can you do ahead of time to plan for that? You can have a menu of these awesome mojo boosters. So, and, you know, like I said, we still have, we're on day zero. We're on day zero. How does it get any better than this? We, we haven't even like gotten into the class exactly what we're preparing and then we get to look forward to day one we get to look forward to each of the days um every sunday we're going to be doing dead old lady secret recipe readings and that's something that'll be a regular part of these 21 days if you're watching this and you're in one of the other groups either my super love group or the apocalyptic love group then please join us you are invited to join us for these 21 days. As you notice, we haven't even started. We are we're starting, but we haven't started. We're the day one starts tomorrow. Message me to join us. We'd love to have you a part of this. Um, it's gonna be super cool. And you know what? As you go through these steps, choosing something, releasing the stuff that keeps you from it, turning up the dials of amusement, turning down seriousness, experiencing what you've created in your body and then acknowledging it and pushing the enter key. That, that process is really something that when you're practicing this on a daily basis can change universes. So what is it that you're wanting to create that you can add into this anticipation program that um, that you haven't haven't created yet. So you get to do that in this in this program. So share your awesome mojo boosters. And yay, Renee says, I love the one song dance party. Yes, that is really great. So I want to hear from you. Message me, uh, message, post in the group if you're already in the 21 day group. If you're not, please come and join us. We want, we want to have more and more of us together. And the other thing is, as we're together, we're amplifying this. Like doing this as a community is something that um, makes everything easier. We're all bringing our energy in to this and, you know, whatever it is that you are wanting, you get the contribution of everybody in here. So you may even know people who, you know, struggle during this time of year or, or are having a hard time with all of the things that are going on in the world or, or are living alone or, would like to make a change, please do invite people because you can be that miracle for someone else. This is not a time to like, you know, hoard it away. Like this is a time to share and connect and, and the more of us butterflies flying in this circle, the more magic powers we can be. So, Thanks for being here. Can't wait to see what's happening. And we will see you same time, same place tomorrow. All right. Bye, everyone.